Okay, so first off, let's just interpret this overall energy and see which direction that is headed, okay? So I definitely feel that um, we start out with the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is the truth coming to light, okay? Cutting through the fog, the mist, the uncertainty, the, um, the obstruction with the truth. This is also a card that deals with executing a plan, execute, putting an idea into practice. So this is a very, very, very powerful, potent energy. And it might have come through at the end of October in which revelations, epiphanies, truths, everything that you've been kind of murky about, has they're coming to light. And um, a lot of things have been revealed. So this is a card of truths. And this is like, you know, that... that um, light in the darkness where you can't once you know something you can't unknow it so it's one of those things where you know it, it feels to me as if the truth might have ended a conflict it might have started a conflict and it might have been it, it was the harsh truth it was something that you wish hadn't happened but you're stronger and better as a result of knowing the truth. So I definitely feel this is something that you're grappling with, you know, for the first few uh, weeks. As a result of this truth, I feel that your foundation is a little bit um, destabilized or a little bit, it started to unravel, okay? Not in a bad way, but I do feel that um, the truth brought information and you are going to have to sift through the information and to see how it's relevant to your life and what you really have to do to move on. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you find out that um, a colleague has been talking about you or has been, you know, undermining you on the work front. Knowing this fact means that you're going to have to treat them differently and that you're not going to incorporate them into your inner circle because that just wouldn't make sense. So these are things that you really have to reassess and you have to change your strategy. Basically, based on whatever is being revealed, whatever came to light, you have to change your strategy. As a result of it, what I mean is that your foundation started to unravel so it's like um, a minor procedure. So once something, you know, if there's a crack, then you do have to re-fortify that foundation. And I feel like that's what you're, ha do you're having to do. And for a lot of you, it might be damage control. So for example, if you w were in a relationship and um, the relationship was like very unbalanced, and you start to see, you know, since the end of October, early into November, that the other person that you're in a relationship with is it's a, a very good person and they care about you a great deal, for example. Um, I do feel that you're going to have to once again repair that foundation. If you were in a relationship with someone or they're in a relationship with you and there was like... Um, one person is constantly running to the other person when they're in need of something. So it's, you know, it's like very one-sided. It's very unbalanced. And um, you're, I feel that a lot of you might be tired of it. And you're deciding, you know, to walk away. I feel that if that is you, you're in a very unbalanced relationship and you're starting to think about walking away. The other person that you're involved with is coming to this realization, this sense of truth, where they realize that they have taken you for granted in the past, and they're trying to rebuild that foundation with you. So don't be too premature to walk away. I do feel they have good intentions, and they're coming in here with a proposal of love, of stability, of more of a commitment. So I definitely feel a significant relationship in your life is taking a turn for the better and there's definitely a situation where you both can work at things and um, you know rebuild that the the structural foundation of your relationship okay but honestly what what I'm sensing is for a lot of you you might be going through a divorce separation some type of severance the ace of swords usually indicates to me severance such as, you know, um, severing a relationship, severing a love relationship, a friendship, a work situation, cutting out a, an ex-boyfriend, 
or even a coworker. So some some type of severance has actually happened by the beginning of this month. And we see you here as the Queen of Pentacles. This can be you, male or female, kind of turning your back away from an offer of love, mainly because despite the person showing up as a king energy where they are very controlled, where they are very um, emotionally stable, your multiple run-ins with this person is enough and you're you're pretty much done. You've you're exhausted and you're not frankly, you're not interested anymore. So for a lot of you, there might be an offer coming through and you're just walking away from it. So it could be, you know, a new person, but I do feel more often than not, it's somebody from your past coming through making an offer and you're not looking their direction, okay, because you're you're trying to move on. So it could be, you know, a past spouse, uh, an ex-spouse, an ex-boyfriend or somebody like that. And you realize that, you know, you were there all along nursing them back to health. And then as soon as the money situation comes through, then they're, they're, um, they're off somewhere else. When they don't need you, they're off somewhere else. So you're coming to realize this and you're going to turn your back on them. All right. Um, I do feel as well. So that's what's happening for you pretty much the first two weeks of the month. I also feel as if there is a, we have like four, three, well, we have three wands energy and the wands indicates to me in this context, it's, um, our passion or desire, our ambition drive. And also with the five of wands, it is conflict. So it seems to me as if the major, major, major news coming through for most of you. There is a situation where a person is kind of like in a bind, okay? This can be they're physically bound up and they don't know, they don't know what to do. Or it could be, you know, a self-imposed prison where someone is playing victim. Someone is playing victim here. And, um... They're expecting other people to fight over them. They're expecting other people to play, um, to, to come rescue them. So there's some, it's almost like a trap is what I'm sensing. But um, I, I don't want to use that word because it has such a negative connotation. But it's just like somebody is running some kind of test, some kind of simulation, just to see who's going to be there. So I feel like, you know, all the, the, the people in this spread, there are a lot of people all the people in this spread, they're, they're converging at this main focal point, which is somebody is like in a dire situation, possibly hurt, and then everyone put their life on hold to come to his or her rescue, is what I'm sensing. So someone might be doing that to you. Somebody might be telling you, you know, oh, I'm, I'm in a jam. Can you help me just to see if you care about them? But I feel like you're turning your back and you're not looking that way. And that's perfectly fine because they're more than capable of getting themselves out. They just, they're trying to solicit an emotional response from you. So be very careful about past people coming through. Somebody who's, um, who's basically drawing on or taking advantage of your sympathy in order for them to uh, get to talk to you again or in order for them to, to, to get to... Um, to be with you again or to suck you back in but I don't feel they have like you know malicious intentions because they are showing up in relatively good terms which is that they care about you but they don't know how to get your attention so that's that's what I'm sensing so they might you know pull every trick in the book in order to get you to turn around and look at them so there's no malice in it and there's no like ill will but I just want you to be aware of that. It's just easier to deal with this person head on. But if it's somebody from the past, then you don't need to. Okay. So there's a little bit of conflict coming through as a result of, you know, some truths happening, some news information coming through. And, um, for example, somebody might get in trouble. Like I feel like, um, in your work environment, it could be, you know, um, quarter and report. And then someone is not like pulling their weight. And then everyone is like really upset that they're not pulling their weight. So it could be one of those things where there's a little bit of conflict coming through. But on the other end of this spectrum, I do feel that um, a lot of help is coming your way. Okay, if there are financial worries, 
you're not going to have to worry about this past the 15th of this month. The financial situation is going to alleviate and there is going to be a helping hand. And I feel as if you have multiple people coming to your rescue and helping you in that regard. So there is definitely, you know, it's sort of like a situation where angels are coming in in the form of people in order to help you out of a rut. And you've got a lot of people converging right here to help you. So you're going to be in a good uh, spot by the second half of um, the month. I do feel that um, when it comes to work projects, when it comes to work projects and on the work front it, and, you know, work and school as well, I'm sensing there is something where, you know, people are lined up to. So, for example, if you're in a work environment, there are five projects and there are everyone has a preference as to which project that they want to do. So everyone is like scrambling to sign up for the one that they prefer. I feel as if you really have to, you know, not be slow at this. Just get up there and sign up for something because I feel you, you know, as an earth sign, um, you are very hesitant about taking action. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some actions are very deliberate and calculated and, you know, that's very good. But in this situation, people are kind of scrambling all over the place. And the first person that gets to the prize... I feel is the winner. So you really want to be um, nimble on your toes and to get things going in the right direction and at least get up there. If you haven't you know, decided on something, you will know by the time you get there. So fight it off and get there first because that's where I feel the price is going to be, okay? If you're the last person in line, I do fear that we're going to end up with the magician in the reverse position. I'm actually going to pull out another card. So if you're the last in line, I don't feel that it's going to pan out well for you. So there's quite a few options opportunities that are coming through with the wand energies all over the second half of this month and you really want to not wait in suspension so do not wait in suspension be proactive and act on it and just go for it i'm going to pull out another card here with the magician so i do feel you know separations divorces legal issues and things like that um Try to, for those of you who are, you know, negotiating the terms of a divorce, I feel as if whoever you're dealing with, whatever situation has transpired between the two of you when you were in a relationship, right now you're trying to reach a resolution, so do not carry past baggage into the negotiation tables, okay? And I know that when it comes to divorces, they're very, very messy. But what I'm sensing here is this. The relationship has already ended. No matter what happened, who cheated on who, you know, he said, she said, whatever has transpired, okay? That phase of the relationship is over. Right now, you're going through a divorce negotiation and or a settlement or something like that. I do feel that whoever you're dealing with is trying to meet you halfway, but you're being uncooperative here. Okay, so just um, be very careful about this, Taurus, because I feel as if, if it's a divorce settlement and you're agreeing on the terms, be proactive and just meet them, you know, at the initial terms, because that's where you're going to get the best outcome. If you wait too long, if you wait to act, if you feel like very, very proud and you don't want to interact with this person and you're hoping to drag it on just so they know how angry and how upset and how hurt you are, I don't feel that it's going to end in your favor. So my advice is this. Like I said, whatever has transpired when you both were in a loving relationship, now the situation is different. So once both parties have decided they're going to get divorced, the feelings are different, okay? So you don't have to tell them that um, I'm still upset over you know when we were together, when this and that happened. That part of your life is over. You have to let it go. So don't hold on to grudges for this uh, month because it is only going to be to your detriment, okay? When it comes to the divorce proceeding and things like that, once again, it is outside of your control. When it comes to negotiations, new works environment and things like that, you also have to come to the negotiation table being very, very prepared and with full knowledge of what it what it is that you want. But I do feel that when it comes to negotiations in general, the more willing that you are to cooperate and the more willing that you are to at least be 
receptive towards you know the first few offers that's where you're going to be operating at your best the longer you wait and let it drag on and um, the more obstinate you are and the more stubborn you are about this the worse it's going to be because we do have the justice card in the reverse position and we do have people around you wanting to accommodate okay so be um, I guess be a little bit more understanding for this this month I feel that it's going to go a long way all right so turn yourself around in this situation and things will work out in your favor okay Taurus um, financially things are not bad I, I do feel we have five of Pentacles and then ten of Pentacles things are rebuilding but either way you're the Queen of Pentacles so this can be you male or female I do feel financially you are going to have plenty you are you are going to have enough if somebody is soliciting you for financial help I do feel it is within your control to help them whether or not you want to that is completely up to you and that is completely contingent upon your past history with them if they've never you know paid you back there's no need to bother okay but overall I do feel it is going to be a good month um, for those of you who are out there dating I definitely feel a suitor who's interested in you but you're not um, you're showing disinterest or at least you're showing indifference and if this is something that you're not aware of you know next time somebody comes by your work your your cubicle your office your environment just be mindful about that and pay attention in the right direction for those who are looking for love additionally there's definitely a lot of competition for your affection I love the way this Queen shows up she's so beautiful here this is like uh, my favorite card in this deck just because she looks so queenly and in control and um, you know this every time I see this it's also the last card in a row so I feel as if you're fixated somewhere else rather than you know in the present moment so aim to be a little bit more in your, in the present moment you seem a little bit distracted and you're not really focusing on what's happening around you and who you're with and and who you should you know um, who is trying to draw your attention okay so let that go and live in the moment a little bit more and I do feel that there is an opportunity here the two of wands you see this other hand but you don't see the other picture so there is somebody who is very very close to being your mister or mrs. right all it takes is a little bit of reaching out in order to get to know them and I do feel for a lot of you you are dealing with uh, water signs so this can be um, <clears throat> Cancer, Scorpio, um, Pisces. Pisces. Um, I'm getting a very strong Piscean. Piscean, Scorpio. Well, this is a different deck, but I, I do sense that there's a water sign that is trying to grab your attention. And for the second half of this week, that's when your focus is going to turn towards them. So I do feel, you know, it, you can save yourself a lot of trouble by focusing on them within the first two weeks. All right. 